Hi there, I'm Scott. Welcome to Black Gumbo Southern Gardening. I'm going to review this wonderful tool, the grub hoe. makes these grub hoes better than your big box store hoe is, is that it's got some heft to it and it's got a longer blade. And that longer blade is key to leverage. You can really dig holes with this and use the handle to leverage things out. You can, you can, uh, the reason I bought a grub hoe was I saw some Asian kids in a video on YouTube uh, digging fish traps and holes and they were digging these four foot deep holes in minutes with a grub hoe. So I looked it up and found at easydigging.com um, that you can get these things. This is made in Brazil comes in pieces, you put it together, it's a great tool. These, on the other hand, I find myself using less and less. These, uh, these garden center and, and Walmart and big box hoes, they have their place, I guess, maybe for, for weeding, but I never use them. And they come dull, dull as a, a butter knife, and so you have to put an edge even on these. And you'll notice that I, I put an edge on here, but even that edge is it's just too thick. These uh, I find myself using less and less, and the grub hoe seems to be my go-to to, go -to tool. So let's go over to the garden. I'll show you how it works. You'll notice here that you can use the grub hoe to get close along the cinder blocks or the edges of your garden. And uh, just go a couple inches beneath the surface and chop out the, uh, the roots, chop, chop the roots of the weeds and uh, clean out all that old soil. This is soil actually that's been sitting fallow for, um, I didn't grow in this section of the garden last year nor the year before. So this is two years worth of of growth right here on the end of this garden. There's a lot of deep roots. And so what I'm doing is I'm just cutting the roots off from the from the plants above. I've pulled the majority of the weeds and I'm just separating the roots. I'm not going to till deeply. I got too much good worms down in there to till deeply. But I'm cutting the roots off and I'll come back and, uh, and rake out all the debris at least as much as I can get with a rake. And then I'll just plant my tomato plants in here and mulch heavily and uh, that's some good stuff. It breaks it up with hardly any work. I did a quarter of this garden in 30 minutes, working on another quarter, and by tomorrow I should be done. This is a wonderful tool for just preparing beds and preparing new beds, for cutting out sod, for cutting grass. It's a great tool. It does have a sharp edge and it is rather heavy, so if you glance off a rock or if you glance off a cinder block, you got to be careful. you got to watch where you're swinging the thing, and it's probably not a good tool for kids because of the weight. Uh, with a dull big box store hoe, you could probably get away with giving it to a kid. Uh, but a sharp blade like this with heft on it, just, just the, a wrong swing could put a real hurt on you. So you want to be careful with this. Wonderful tool. You can prepare beds real, real easily. You can see how it just slices right through this dirt. So one way you can sharpen these, and you always have to sharpen them, is to use just a, a, a basic rat tail bastard file. And uh, keep your file clean. But come in here and on the outer edge, go at about uh, kind of about an angle like that. The, 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 the less your angle, the sharper the edge you might get, but the less durable it's going to be. And just come in, always go in a forward motion, and just put a blade on there. And you're going to have to do this frequently, be, frequently because you're going to hit rocks, and I hit the, uh, the cinder blocks, and I put little nicks in my blade there. Just come and dress the blade every now and then, and this will give you a a nice cutting edge, it'll go through just about anything, and it makes your work a whole lot easier. Now once you've done the this outer edge, I like to go and just clean up the back side just a little bit. But you want your bevel on this edge. It just works out better that way, it's more durable. So there's a little bit about the grub hoe. This has probably been the, the, the single most excellent tool that I've ever purchased as far as uh, gardening tools and things like that go. This has uh, basically revolutionized my gardening. I almost never use a shovel. I almost never use a store-bought hoe, like a big box hoe. I almost always use this grub hoe. This is actually my second grub hoe. My first one was uh, destroyed prying concrete out of the ground when my fence was replaced. Uh, but they're reasonably priced, and uh, Phoebe, Phoebe, what is it, huh? Got to get rid of my dog. There you go. 
Uh, this one is reasonably priced at, uh, I believe it's easydigging.com. I'll put a link in the description. I don't get paid by them. I don't get any kind of uh, benefits from them. And I really think you ought to try one. These things are wonderful tools. So, not getting paid, just sharing what I know uh, is a good tool and uh, hoping you can benefit from, from what I've benefited from. Well, thanks for joining me on Black Umbo Southern Gardening. My name is Scott. Like my, uh, my uh, YouTube channel, like my Facebook page, and follow my blog, and together we can learn about gardening. Thanks. Until next time. Bye-bye.